Loyalty was on display in a big way here in Cleveland last week when the loyal, faithful fans of the hapless Cleveland Browns finally got to celebrate a victory after a couple of years of waiting. There was great jubilation, as well there should be, and I understand that kind of loyalty. I have been loyal to the New England Revolution since 1996, and they have yet to earn my loyalty, but yet I remain faithful. Our loyalties are sometimes tested. Tested by a sports team is one thing, but in the real world, we have to wonder what loyalties will win out. In this story, David is part of a rebellion, ready to overthrow the king, his former friend and leader, Saul. And he finds himself in a position to take his life and his loyalties are in conflict. And he decides to spare the life of Saul. I wonder what would happen to any of us in that situation where our loyalties come into conflict. We should all examine ourselves well before anything like that would ever happen. What are our ultimate loyalties? What decision will be the one we make based on what we value most of all? I would contend that it wasn't David's loyalty to his fellows who were leading the uprising or his loyalty to Saul as an individual that was in conflict. I think it was his loyalty to justice and to the law of love, that he understood that God was not giving him permission to take the king's life. In the end, our loyalty must be to our God, who is love, who tells us that to show our love to God, we must love our neighbor as ourselves. If that can be our ultimate loyalty, then all the others will fall into place. 